mics are hot or not. Vegan Bye. food truck. Ooh. Yeah. Welcome again to this edition of the Arlington Weekly News. The stories we're bringing to you are for the week of July 24th. I'm Miriam Gennari. My name's Adele Quo. Rich Masabney. And we are happy today to, to bring you some stories. Uh, we'll tell you some things about Arlington's bond rating. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Columbia Pike streetcar. Uh, of course, we're going to have Adele with her segment. And it's, it's easy, easy being, being green. green. Truth. Absolutely. And then some things happening this summer. Uh, we are also going to have some wonderful news for seniors. And of course, Rich Masabdi is going to tell us what's happening around town. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thanks again for joining us. And, uh, and you can watch the Arlington Weekly News on your YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News and the number one. Also, you can check us out on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash Arlington Weekly News. Take All it right. away, Miriam. Excellent. Okay, so on to the news. Um, let's see. On Thursday, Moody's Investors Service upgraded the county's AAA bond rating from negative to stable. This followed some upgrades made to the U.S. government's bond rating. Moody's uh, Fitch, Standard & Poor and now have Arlington County rated as a triple A across each rating category. At the time, the U.S. rating downgrade, Moody cited the federal government's rising debt at level as a primary cause for the negative outlook. Moody now believes that the U.S. debt is on track to meet the criteria set for August 2012 as a prerequisite before returning to a staple outlook. For years, Arlington has received a AAA bond rating. That rating allows the county to sell bonds at a very favorable interest rate. For more information, visit the county website. That's good news, Doug. Excellent news. Sure. We live in a county with excellent AAA rating. Indeed. More economic news. The county will tap into its $3 million economic stability fund for the first time. The fund was established in the fiscal year 2014 county budget as a way to lessen the impact of the federal government government's sequestration. The county board voted to send 39000 to the Department of Human Services for its homelessness prevention and the rapid rehousing programs. Interesting. Thank yeah. you, Adele. And now uh, for people who are waiting in for information on the streetcar, the Arlington County Board uh, has approved the new Columbia Pike streetcar program in an agreement with Fairfax County. The agreement replaces the 2009 coordination agreement between the two counties and maintains the county's commitment to the project. The agreement between the two counties establishes the process for management and uh, designates Arlington as the end lead partner. The agreement runs through the phase and through the environmental planning process, um, conceptual design, and further work on the streetcar. So if you were wondering, it's coming. That is an exciting project, the streetcar one. Indeed. Now on to art news. The Arlington County Board has approved 19 grants to arts organizations and one grant to an individual artist for fiscal year 2014. These grants were made under the Arlington Arts Grants Program. An additional 27 organizations were granted use of county facilities and access to technical services. Synthetic Theater got the largest grant at 39701 For a complete listing of the grant recipients and to read the staff report, visit the county website. Click on item number 31 on the July 13, 2013 County Board Regular Meeting Agenda. Great to invest in the arts. And now uh, to some further news. Arlen an Arlington, or I'm sorry, an Alexandria woman was charged with felony child neglect here in Arlington as a result of unintentional death for her eight year old or eight month old child. The incident occurred near her workplace off of North Glebe Road. Police arrested and charged 32 year old Zerurda Magical Kandira Hernandez 
on July 5, 2013. Hernandez left her infant boy in the car for approximately six hours. It was parked in a lot outside of her workplace. She didn't notice the baby in the car since um, until she arrived at uh, the daycare to pick up one of her other children. The baby was unresponsive. She immediately drove to Nova Alexandria Hospital where the child was pronounced dead a short time later. Hernandez is being held in the Arlington County Detention Center awaiting bond. I can't believe she's yeah. still That is a very is a terrible, sad, terrible What story. about her children? Exactly. Well, I have a retirement announcement. After serving Rosalind for 21 years, Rosalind Business Improvement District for or bid, Executive Director Cecilia Cassidy has decided to retire. She started off her tenure with Roslyn in 1992 as Executive Director of the Roslyn Renaissance. Renaissance merged with the Roslyn Business Improvement District in 2012. The uh, budget at the time was $1 million and now it is $4 million. Wow, it's really grown. Well, great, great service on her part. Rosalind's doing great. Thank you. And now, uh, an innovative summer camp could spark a career ambition among high school age girls in Arlington long term. It also could help Arlington County Fire Department meet a goal for recruiting more female firefighters. The Girls Firefighter Camp was a free overnight camp that ran early July and was designed to give girls aged 13 to 16 a taste of firefighters lives. So participants worked out, they ran drills, they learned skills uh, under the close supervision of the Arlington County Fire Department staff. The camp was a fun-filled weekend where high school students earned or learned um, how to stay in great shape while performing the basic firefighting and emergency medical tasks. Wow, I would have loved to have attended what that. What a great camp. Well, on to something else great. It's time for some news uh, from you, Adele, on It's, it's easy, easy Being, being green. green. Well, thank you, Take Miriam. it away. Thank you so much, and it is Easy Being Green by taking action for healthier air. On my way to work, the recent heat wave that we encountered last week that settled over our metropolitan area led to increased levels of air pollution, prompting a code orange air quality alert for the Washington, D.C. area. Code orange indicates that the air is unhealthy for sensitive groups such as older adults, children, and people with respiratory ailments like asthma and lung disease. These groups are encouraged to minimize strenuous activity outdoors. Code red days indicate the air we breathe is unhealthy for all groups. Polluted air is a pervasive threat in America, harming our health and shortening lives. The American Lung Association ranked D.C. the ninth worst metropolitan area for ozone air pollution in its 2013 State of the Year report. D.C. was given a grade of F on an A to F scale. The most important things you can do for clean air is to conserve energy and to switch to renewable energy. Walk, bike, use public transportation as much as possible and just drive less. Not only will you be healthier and help to preserve precious energy resources, you'll also save money. Residential buildings account for 26% of Arlington House's green gas emissions. So um, anytime you make a decision uh, with your home appliances, it affects the environment. To conserve, to conserve energy, uh, turn off lights and unplug appliances when they are not in use. Substitute cold water for hot water whenever practical. And weather strip your doors and windows to uh, not overheat or overcool your home. A great way to start is to get a residential home energy audit and implement the results. The average American household spends nearly $2,000 per year on energy used in their homes, but $200 to $500 at of is probably being wasted due to air leaks and outdated heating and cooling systems. So whether you live in an apartment or a single family home or manage a property, there are many things that you can do around your home to save energy and money. So whether you live, work, or play in Arlington, there is a way for you to bring sustainability with you. Remember, it's easy, easy being, being green. green. Let's take action for healthier air. Oh, Adele, thanks so much for reminding people about that. We love our city and the fact that it's so busy. But you know what? Our air quality is not something we should be 
risking exactly. with development. All right, well, now it's time for uh, our community bulletin board. You ready to get started? Absolutely. All right, on Wednesday, July 1st, you can help the homeless by enjoying pizza and a movie and attending a screening of a documentary called A Place at the Table. The movie stars Jeff Bridges and examines hunger in America. The event starts at 7 p.m at the First Presbyterian Church at 601 North Vermont Street. Um, it's a $5 do donation um, requested at the door. The screening will benefit the Arlington Street People Assistance Network, or ASPAN, and the Arlington Food Assistance Center, or AFAC. Sounds like a great show. It does, that sounds interesting. Here's more news, some free events at Lover Run that you'll want to know about. On Saturday, July 27th at 8 p.m., you can listen to the award-winning DC-based vocal group, The Tone Rangers. For 25 years, the group has brought inventive arrangements and keen wit to everything from Gregorian chant to TV theme songs. Nominated for seven whammies, they were voted best a cappella group four consecutive years in the late 2000s and won the best a cappella recording in 2007. They were also national finalists in the 2002 Harmony Sweepstakes, which is the Super Bowl of a cappella. And there are, they are three-time winners of the Mid-Atlantic Audience Favorite and Best Arrangement Awards. On Friday, August 2nd at 8 p.m., you can watch the multifaceted Hexagon Theater Company. Their musical, satirical, and the theatrical performances have been staged every year since 1956. This nonprofit has put on Washington's only all-original, all-volunteer review of its kind, donating more than three and one three and a half million dollars to 40 plus organizations. Also on Saturday, August 3rd at 8 p.m., hip hop jazz artist Rico Amaro comes to Lover Run. You can listen to his heartfelt music on YouTube.com and SoundCloud.com. Lover Run is at North Columbus Street and Second Street North two blocks north of Route 50. You can also get there with Metro by taking either bus number 4B or bus 4E to Park Drive and North 2nd Street. Excellent. That sounds like a lot of fun, and it's all free. Free, free, free. Excellent. And then, of course, on Sunday, the whole family uh, can get together and hang out along the campfire with uh, Long Branch and Gulf Branch Nature Centers for some old-fashioned campfire fun. Programs include stories, songs, games, special live animal guests, and, of course, s'mores. Campfires from 7, a, or 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. every Saturday except August 24th, and the cost is $5 per participant. Registration is required, uh, yet for children under two, no registration at all. Just bring them along. You can call Gulf Branch Nature Center at 703-228-3403 or Long Branch Nature Center at 703-228-6535 for more information. Adele? Well, we're looking for volunteers. If you like browsing in used bookstores, then you'll enjoy the Friends of the Arlington Public Library book sale. The group needs volunteers to help prepare for this semi-annual event. Responsibilities would include moving boxes and heavy crates and pricing items. This is a six-month commitment of three to four hours twice a week and involves several weeks of training. The sale is to help support a variety of library activities, including the summer reading program for children. So call 703-228-7688 for details. Our valuable libraries here in Arlington. Absolutely. It's just wonderful to support them. In fact, there's another way you can support your favorite library, and that's by helping um, with their used book sales. A volunteer is needed to so sort through and donate items um, for groups resale, special collection items, and free giveaways. In addition, the volunteer needs to keep the sales area uncluttered and well stocked. This is a weekly commitment. Call 703 228 7688 for more details about your own local library. Great opportunities. Well, let's move on to talk about ACE, Arlingtonians for a Clean Environment. They need your help with community outreach at the Arlington County Fair. The County Fair will be this August 7th, 
to the 11th. As a volunteer, you'll work alongside other ACE volunteers and staff to share information about their programs and volunteer opportunities. No prior experience is necessary, just a desire to connect with your community members and share useful information to learn more about this opportunity. Visit ArlingtonCountyFair.us or call 703-228-6406. Oh, and definitely stop by the Arlington Independent Media Station's desk also during the fair. Also, be there. Okay. Absolutely. And now on to Capital Caring, Northern Virginia's homegrown, not-for-profit hospice provider, needs musicians to play at the bedside of resident patients. The goal is to help calm acutely and agitated uh, patients and, um, and their entrance uh, and to enhance their quality of life by playing supportive music. Music sessions last about three, 30 minutes and may be scheduled weekly or as needed. Call 703-908-5904 if you're interested in volunteering. That sounds like a really awesome opportunity also. Indeed. And now we are Pleased to introduce Rich, our man about town. Take it away, Rich. What have you been up thank to? You, thank you, Del. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, Great very much. You. Yeah, I got three current shows in this area here that you got to see. Uh, the McLean Community Players uh, have a great show in the musical Damn Yankees uh, at the Alden Theater down there off 123. Uh, a superb cast uh, with multi talented Mike Baker as the devil. Uh, what, what, what he does is uh, <laughs> he. He's making a deal with a longtime Washington Senators fan, Joe Boyd, and he says, I can make you a kid again, 22 years old, but you've got to leave the wife and all that. And, uh, but he's such a crazy Yankee fan, uh, he takes on this thing, and uh, he cosplays beautifully and whatever it is. It's just terrific. There's a, there's a bunch of good actors. Hans Bachman's in this thing. Uh, Amy, Amy Annie Ermlich. I mean, she's wonderful as Lola. You know, whatever Lola wants, Lola gets real sexy, you know? I uh, heard that tune. That's right. Uh, anyway, uh, they send, the devil sends a sexy uh, temptress to pull him away from his wife, but uh, you'll see how it ends up. It's a good show, wonderful show, great singing. It runs through July 28, so Kevin and uh, Pamela McCormick, uh, uh, directed this gem. Anyway, for more information, call 703-790-9223 or check the website, mcleanplayers.org. Uh, you should get to know Encore Stage and Studio if you don't already. But they've been around 45 years in this area, 45 years, involving youngsters in high school and every aspect of the theater they learn, too. Currently, Encore is doing a heck of a job with Legally Blonde, the musical. Uh, you know, remember the Witherspoon guy? Anyway, I think the, the one they got today, the kid playing L. Woods, uh, made, made famous by uh, Reese Witherspoon, it, it does a, a wonderful job. She's got star quality, this kid. I think she's 17 or 18. Oh. Uh, Legally Blonde is about uh, L. what's her name? L. Uh, not being taken seriously because she's a pretty blonde. Anyway, when a boyfriend dumps her for somebody else he considers serious, she decides she's going to go to Harvard Law School. And it's a lot of fun and uh, good people in it. And there's a veteran kid in Encore's uh, presentation, veteran Eileen Sugamelli. She uh, plays Enid in this thing. And uh, I've seen this kid grow up playing different roles and all. And she got a supportive family. It's wonderful, wonderful to see that. Anyway, uh, she's going to be a star someday. Eileen Sugamelli. Anyway, uh, Legally Blonde, the musical, uh, play those July 28th, 703-548-1154, or check the website at EncoreStage.org. Uh, here's another wonderful show, the American Century Theater uh, at Gunston, uh, directed by the artistic director, Jack Marshall. He goes back to Broadway almost 50 years ago with I Do, I Do. Uh, keeping up with the times, he's changed the show a little bit, uh, he has four actors, two guys, two gals, playing three couples. So there's a homosexual couple and a straight couple. Uh, anyway, uh, Mary Beth Luckenbauer and Steve Lubins are married to each other. And then Lubins is also married to Chad. Uh, and, uh, well, uh, it, the Don thing works. And what, 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 what's so different about this direction, and I've seen so many shows over the years, is uh, the, the actors, like, interchange. You'll be dealing with his wife, and the next thing you know, it's his boyfriend. Uh, but the Don thing works. Uh, wonderful. 
Uh, there's some songs in this thing like, I love my wife, something has happened, uh, nobody's perfect, my cup runneth over with love. Um, gee, I'm excited. I can't wait to go back. They're playing through August 17 uh, at Gunston. For information, call 703-998-4555 or check the website, americancentry.org. They do good stuff. They don't do bad stuff at American Century. I'll tell you that. Now, I want to tell you about something that's already passed. I have Frank, uh, Frankie Valley. I'm crazy about this guy. I mean, since he ever started, uh, we're both about the same age, close to 100. And... Uh, sure. Uh, he returned, really? yes, yes, 98, um, not quite 100, that's right. But uh, he returned to Wolf Trap uh, this last Sunday, and the guy, he really, he, he 79 years old, it was hot, and he worked for an hour and 45 minutes nonstop and, uh, with a great band behind him, and he has four guys, uh, the four seasons, they're four, you know, it's a quartet that works with him. Uh, just, just great. Now, I'm telling you about him even though it's past, but, the, but you know those songs. Sherry and Big uh, Girls Don't Cry, My Eyes Adored You, uh, Can't Take My Eyes Off of You, and so many, many more. Now, I'd advise you because Wolf Trap is a wonderful place to be in that open air, or you can be on the lawn. I mean, the lawn is so popular, and you can see the stage, and it's uh, just wonderful. Now, there's still more of the season left, you know that. For information, call 1-877-WOLF-TRAP or check the website, wolftrap.org. I mean, there's so many so many great shows coming up. In fact, ABBA, I'm going to ABBA thing, is coming up in a couple of weeks. Oh, that sounds yeah, so cool. Yeah, the concert, cool. you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Wolf Trap's just a gold Yeah, line. isn't it? I do agree. So yeah. that's it for now, kids. Uh, until next week. Thank you, Rich. Uh, thanks. I know where I want to go on a date. Hard to choose with so many great things. I know. Don't fight know. over me, girls. All right, please. all right. At least not my, now. My, we'll share. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we'll move on to news for seniors. seniors. Right? All right. And, seniors. and uh, so let me just get started here. Stamp collecting is still a favorite hobby, and some of the some for an investment. Um, Marvin Murray, uh, he is, let me just... Uh, Marvin's our assistant curator in it, Philately at the National Postal Museum in D.C. Exactly, and he'll provide a basic overview of stamp collecting Thursday, September 1st at 1 p.m. at the Lee Senior Center. He will share how he got into stamp collecting and how it turned into a career after retirement. For more information, register for this free pro program. Call the Lee um, Center at 703-228-0555. Thanks, Excellent. Adele. Great, because stamp collecting, I did a little of that myself, so that sounds really interesting. Lots of fun. Well, now I'm going to talk about injuries. Injuries caused by falls, which can be long-lasting and devastating. However, Kelly Arthur from Virginia Home Care Services and Keith Zukowski of Beth Best Care Home Services will discuss ways to prevent falls from happening. They will also discuss what to do to recover quickly if you do happen to fall. This will take place at the Aurora Hills Senior Center on Monday, August 5th, and will be repeated on Tuesday, August 6th, and Thursday, August 15th at Walter Reed Senior Center. For more information and to register, call Aurora Hills at 703-228-5722 or, or Walter Reed at 703-228-0955. All right. Thanks, well, Adele. thanks, Adele. There's just a couple weeks left to register for the 2000 or the 2013 Northern Virginia Senior Olympics, which will take place September uh, 7th through September 19th. Last year, over 100 Arlingtonian residents over the age of 50 participated, and many won silver and gold and bronze medals. There are 50 indoor activities, and many will be held at the at Arlington. Um, back uh, for these events. Um, there's pickleball, basketball. For more information, call 703-228-4721 or visit, uh, let's just, uh, sorry, I'm having, uh, www.nvso.us. And I guess um, we're going to jump ahead and move right into the interview, Adele. Uh, do you, uh, do you uh, have lots to do with uh, kids this summer? Um, not so much interaction with the kids, unfortunately, but it does sound very interesting, this... Um Infamous robotics. robotics? Yes, yes, absolutely. Something to do indoors. So let's take it away to the interview. Five, four, three, two... 
Thank you. And now I'm here with Anthony Newtonez. He is the president and CEO of Infamous Robotics. Anthony, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me, Miriam. Well, I've been wanting to have you here for some time to talk to you. I've got lots of questions, but my first is, how did you come up with the idea for Infamous Robotics? And what is it? Uh, well, it's a company that teaches robotics to children. Uh, we also do research and development on elderly robot, um, assisted robotics for elderly. Uh, the idea really came as a kid when I was taking things apart. I uh, didn't always put them back together. My parents were patient with me though, so I got through that. And uh, as I got to college, I knew I wanted to start my own company. And uh, so I began searching the internet and I wanted to give it a name people would remember. So I named it Infamous Robotics and uh, started putting a really experienced team together. And as we were talking, we realized we could teach kids what we were learning. And so we really began uh, the education department at that point. Which is wonderful because robotics is something that, you know, engineers and people at NASA have often been working with. But this is really hands-on education and it's science, technology, engineering, and certainly math, right? Yes, definitely. And sometimes art as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you've got lots of different classes taking place throughout the D.C. metropolitan area? Yes, we have them in Arlington County. We have them in uh, Falls Church and uh, also in Fairfax at George Mason University. Now, and, and your alma mater, George Mason University. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Well, we're very proud of that. Um, now, recently you were at the Building Museum. Now, I've taken my daughter there before and certainly had her play with Legos. How do architecture and robotics connect? And tell me about the event. Sure. So the event was uh, part of uh, National Robotics Week. Um, we invited Congressman Moran, who's actually uh, a congressman for our district here in Arlington, and we invited a university team with their quadcopter and the idea is that robots can be used to help build structures such as a building and so we wanted to inspire kids not only to be inventors but that they could use robots um, in whatever job or industry they decide to work in. Well and, and given the fact that kids really want to to do things and that's a great way to learn how do you integrate that into a program that has five and six year olds? Uh, so we tie it into something they can relate to. Uh, we also tie it into the school curriculum they may be learning throughout their day. Okay. Uh, and these, th these events happen after school? Is that? Yes, there are after school programs uh, that take place either at the school and then the county programs take place on the weekend and of course the summer camps are all day uh, during the summer only. Well, now this is important because lots of times we try to share information with students about how their play can turn into potential careers. Mm -hmm. Are you making that connection as well? Yes, definitely. So the kids will be working with robots, building their own robot, uh, which is actually kind of unique for robotics classes. Most robotics classes focus on group building. We want to give every child the chance to build a robot so they all get equal exposure. Uh, so they end up competing against their classmates and uh, they get really excited. So. It's okay. always fun to see. So yeah, I mean, you know, you don't always have to collaborate. Sometimes you want to be creative yeah. on your own. Where do you get the materials to make these robots? Uh, it's actually materials that we've generated. So this is curriculum we designed and uh, materials we've put together um, to really foster the inventor within the child. So now um, you mentioned a research, research and development, and you mm -hmm. mentioned geriatrics. Tell me a little bit of that that part of the business. Sure. So we have a spin-off company, uh, INF Robotics. Uh, and their purpose is to bring together um, a, a robot that would assist the elderly and wounded warriors with their daily tasks. So it has a robotic arm, it's a mobile platform that will move around in, in their living space and, and really help them remain independent. And so taking that company as well as your education company, you plan to grow and you're based here in Arlington. Yes. How big is your team? Uh, the education team right now is seven people. Um, we have for the C Corporation, which is INF Robotics, we have 11 people. That includes the Board of Advisors as well. Okay, so now where can we see Infamous Robotics um, in the near future? Do you have some upcoming plans? Yeah, so we are working um, in bringing books out for children uh, that would incorporate projects they could do at home. Great. Um, some educational lesson plans with that as well. And uh, hopefully an app soon that would be uh, something they could do as well. Oh, now that yeah. sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and uh, you focus on uh, for education for ages 5 to 12? Right now, yes. But we also have uh, some potential partnerships with uh, 
local universities to move into middle school and high school. Oh, ex well, so. excellent. So offering some possible career opportunities yeah. as well. Yeah. And now, um, if we wanted more information about Infamous Robotics, uh, where can we, you know, see you next? Are you, do you have any upcoming events or anything like that? Yeah, so we have, uh, we still have some summer camps going on at George Mason University. That's one thing we're getting into. And we also um, will be doing events through Arlington County. You'll probably see us at the Arlington County Fair as well. All right, we'll look for you at the Arlington County Fair. Um, thanks so much for being with us, Anthony. I'm here with Anthony Nunez. He is the president and CEO of Infamous Robotics here in Arlington County. For more information, go to Infamous Robotics LLC at Facebook or go to infamousrobotics.com. I'm Miriam Gennari. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Well, that was wonderful science and education news. Did you like that interview? Absolutely. All right. Well, we need to thank Judy Misogny for all the information she gives us every week about our senior programs. Thanks, Judy. Thanks so much. And uh, this is a great show. It was great being with you. Arlington's a wonderful place to live. So uh, stay involved. And stay informed. There you go. Bye-bye. Thanks bye for now. watching. See you next week.